Welcome to Monkey Business. This is Monkey of the Month for May 2021. I'm here joined by my buddy old pal Brandon, and we're going to evaluate some freaking monkeys. Woo! So, uh, do you remember how the show goes? Uh, sometimes I forget. You know, I forget things. You know, we, uh, we evaluate monkeys based on uh, several criteria, uh, four to be exact. And what might those uh, criteria be? So we have meme potential, power, mm -hmm. renown, and cursedness. The latter those... of which is the uh, a negative criteria. And those sound pretty exciting. I can't wait to see what's going on today. <laughs> Here on Monkey of the Month, we have three nominees. Only one gets crowned, and that's the one that gets evaluated. Let's get on with the show. Would you like to see our first nominee? Absolutely. Let's rock and roll. Is that my button? Oh, uh, Shibuya. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god, is that literally me when uh, my younger brother eats my ham sandwich and, like, I have to watch? <laughs> no, well, what's this dude, Bren? It's, uh, it's it's one of those big-nosed monkeys. It's like a proboscis? Pro yeah, proboscis, proboscis. I believe. <laughs> Not promiscuous, Probono? but he could be. You never know. <laughs> um, pro bono, oh god. <laughs> yeah, he has a funny little nose. I don't know why that's an adaptation. I don't know why they have a nose like that. Are there any are there any question. reasons you can think of to, to store water um, like a camel sun? You know, maybe to uh, maybe it's uh, you know he needs to sniff a lot, and by having a big nose, he can uh, he can sniff more at once. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe he pokes it in trees to see if there's any bugs in there or something. Yep, <laughs> that that's possible. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I gotta love it. I I, I don't know. The, you know how like your nasal cavity affects how you scream and cry and stuff. Do yeah. these guys have a special call? I don't know. Maybe yeah, maybe the uh, their big nose give them some sort of like a like an ultra powerful uh, ultra powerful call. Yeah, maybe. So they're, they're funny little dudes. No doubt you've seen them poking around in a couple of our videos and at the zoo and online and stuff because they're a funny looking monkey, the classic funny monkey. Uh, I might I might I might add. And uh, he's he's one of our nominees. Let's see how he stands up against the rest. There we go. Okay, so what's this little dude doing? What a. Uh... What a powerful little monkey in, like, a, a very expensive-looking winter coat. Yeah, who, who bought that? I didn't know they made it in tiny monkey sizes. What, is that a baby coat? Is it a coat for ants? <laughs> you know, that's a good question. I'd, uh, depending on the size of the monkey, you know, maybe it is a little child's coat. Or maybe somebody actually spent money to custom make a nice little coat for that monkey. You never know. <laughs> That'd be nice. That feels pretty wholesome. <laughs> Spends hundreds yeah. of dollars on pet monkey. Kind of looks, like looks like a monkey mirror selfie. Except uh, there's no, there's no uh, he's not holding the phone, but uh, you know I'd I'd like to know the backstory of this image, but uh, unfortunately I uh, I didn't find anything. Yeah, you saying that reminds me. What was the thing that was big a couple months ago? It was like no, no, not a cell phone in, in sight, just people vibing. That's, yeah. that's kind of what this monkey this, is. Yeah, the, this monkey's posing like he's on the the cover of Time magazine or something. You know. Yeah. Or and he uh, is the British. Actually, you know Vogue. what? With, with the with the camera grain here, it looks like one of those like Virgin Mobile ads or something, where it's just a bunch of people like doing something stupid, and then it's like kind of they add like the faux grain to it, so it's like wow, this is like authentic, you know? Yeah, I didn't notice until you said that. What I believe there was a funny title associated with this monkey. Do you remember what it was? You said it the other day. Uh, you know that that's an excellent question. Uh, as we uh, as we as we look through the other monkeys, I'll try and uh, I'll try and get it for you. Okay. To, uh, I, see I look what forward I can come to up with. <laughs> he's, a, he's a pretty epic little guy. Pretty pretty swag on. This guy has the drip. That's right, Zoomers. He's dripping or something. <laughs> drip monkey. Drip exactly. monkey. Drip monkey. Okay. Let's go check out our last nominee. And uh, boom. This guy's pretty special. Okay. I do want to make it clear at home. This is actually the second snub nose monkey we've had featured as a nominee here on Monkey of the Month. But what makes this guy special is that he kind of blew up on uh, on social media, eh? I remember finding him and being like, Brandon, this guy, he has oh, yeah. to be a nominee. You see, it's like, it's one of those things where it's like you get one image on social media of something, you're like, oh, that's kind of funny. And then all of a sudden, every other meme page, as if they're all connected via some sort of bot hive mind, uh, <laughs> decides to post the exact same meme. So I've, I've seen this one maybe 300 times. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's not an exaggeration. But dude, what makes him special, which can't quite be captured by his uh you know the the still we have here is the way his mouth moves the way he's interacting someone's feeding him like a peanut and he's like gobbling it up he uh his his, the, his lips are kind of like flapping about like he's, he's just an adorable little guy and uh you know it, it's funny because uh, little movies like this kind of remind us how close we are to monkey in fact 
You know, he's not much different from one of the, from a, a little iPad toddler, just kind of crawling around and enjoying his snacks and, uh, you know, <laughs> head empty type of things. You know how it is. And a little, a little live monkey business uh, update for you. The title of the article from the Daily Mail, in which that monkey in the jacket came from, was titled, Was he doing his Christmas shopping? Well-dressed monkey in a winter coat and diapers escapes car and heads to Ikea. <laughs> I did, I, that's one of the most powerful sentences I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. It's, uh, it was in Toronto as well. That's, that's pretty powerful. That's, that's a, you know what? The Canadian gang. Yeah, I saw it first from a meme that said, uh, the Arctic monkeys or something. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny because... Uh, Pretty good band, and that's a funny little monkey. That's pretty wild. Yeah, who, but this who guy a monkey to IKEA. That's a good question. I don't know. Well, what's he gonna buy? What's he gonna buy? <laughs> you know? Exactly. And uh, but to go back one last time to this dude over here is like kind of like same vibe as like minions. Like he's just kind of there, you know, head empty, like happy to be eating something. Like you know, we can all relate to that, can we not? Absolutely. Anyway, let's move on, because only one of these uh, lovely little lads <laughs> can be... I, I feel wrong saying lovely little lads, because one of them uh, is oh. not as lovely or little as the others. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, only one can be our Monkey of the Month for May 2021. Thanks for tuning in. Let's see who it is. Uh, <laughs> the Salami Kid. <laughs> That's right. That's right. It's this little dude. It's the snub Monkey who took over Instagram, who is... Our monkey of the month for May 2021. Now, he can't just get off scot free. We gotta talk about this. We gotta decide why. We gotta give this guy a score. You know, he You're needs a report card. Right. He's finished his absolutely finals. Right. <laughs> 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 what he be studying, though? Okay, <laughs> anyway, let's start with meme potential. Okay, and this is it's a little bit tough. A little bit tough, I have to say. Because. I did see him around frequently, but there wasn't that much text associated with. As much as I say this is like a, you know, little sniveling, like, iPad child who has turned their brain off and is, like, flicking boogers at Angry Birds, I, like, I, you know, I haven't seen him in an actual meme format. What about you, Brandon? Yeah, the thing is, right, I see him a lot on, uh, like, like we mentioned, we've seen him a lot on Instagram, but the thing is, it's not quite like a, like a real meme. There's just, like, a couple of them where it's just, like, this monkey do be vibing, though, you know, that sort of thing. But yeah. it's not really like, like you can't use this as like an out of context reaction image or something. It's just like it's just one of those videos that's online that you just see. But there's no real meme for it other than I guess like implicitly. So, I you know I, I think uh, in terms of pure meme score, I think the uh, the the funny face that the, the proboscis made from probably a little more of a meme and that little IKEA monkey that's kind of a meme. But this one here in terms of pure meme potential, it's uh, not that high. Yeah, yeah, no, I have to say, his meme game is kind of weak. He has been memed, but that doesn't make him meme-able, right? His meme potential is rather low. I'd I'd give him, I'd be generous and give him a two. You know, he, he moved around through the network, you know, as a sort of meme, you know, at least as we're taking it. But he's not really a meme himself. He's not going to go down like Bernie Sanders or Dat Boy or Big Chungus or anything. Exactly. Poor little lad. But he has other qualities, okay? Let's assess his power, Okay. Now, again, traditional power, pretty low. This guy versus King Kong, this is guy like a jelly bean. Like, King Kong would just gobble him down. Like, he's, he's pretty small, too. The human that's feeding him is, like, standing up, like, towering over him, even if they're only, like, four foot something. But, uh, you know, he's kind of powerful because he is much like uh, the hit new series Biped. Um, he's standing on both legs. You know, he's bipedal. He's a little gamer. You know, he might not be like that all the time, but in the yeah. video, he looks pretty stable. Yeah, and you know, that, that looks like a very well-coiffed monkey. You know? <laughs> How often do you see such a, a pristine monkey like that? That's that's very rare. You know, yeah, see, it looks like he's kind of shaved, but I think that just might be kind of his, his general physique. Yeah. yeah. He has a little belly on him, which is epic. means he's yeah. been eating well, I think. His, the way exactly. his little snout moves, you know, like... <sighs> he, he's powerful in his in his own way. Like, he, he's his little lad. Yeah. He reminds me of a shiny Pokemon. Like, I'm not going to exactly. lie. Exactly. Yeah, in I terms of, uh, in, in the general monkey world, I think he stands out as a rare, perfectly quaffed, and uh, very well put together monkey. So I think that on its own is quite a powerful event. 
Yeah, and I, I really like the screenshot we took of the video because he's like he's a little bit squished down to fit in our little block there too. You know, yeah. he's he's a happy little dude. Again, you know, traditional power like you know, would he win against a hundred ducks? Probably not, honestly. But <laughs> but uh, he's 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 just so lovely. You know, and unique, right? I, the, the other snub nose we had was uh, had black fur with like a white uh, a white yeah. facial thing and like pink nostrils and didn't have the same little snout thing. You know, if this guy is in fact the snub nose, then he's quite different. You know, absolutely. Right? You know, so they do say the pen is mightier than the sword, so you know, power can be uh, quantified in many different ways. Exactly, and this this guy this guy will steal your girl. You know, King Kong might not. Well, maybe he will. But like you know, so the Yeti will not steal your girl. Well, maybe he will. But I don't know, like these, these big monkeys, you know, they'll they'll clobber you. This guy, he'll just woo your woman. You know, watch out, or your man. Absolutely. I don't know. But so, what do you think? What do you think uh, if we had to quantify it? Hmm, I'd say, perhaps say, uh, maybe a, a, a three, three and a half, maybe, if we're being. Uh... Yeah, I think three in itself is is, is nice and high for yeah. this for this nice little yeah. lad. We uh, so, every time we we rank something in power, we have to remember what we gave like King Kong or whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's only gonna get more treacherous. But no, yeah, he's a lovely lad. Three in power. Let's move on to renown. Where once again, this this you know, if this guy has anything going for him, apart from the fact that he's an adorable little man, uh, I think that's where it is. You know, he's yeah. he's pretty well known. We knew him. Absolutely. You know, if you slap yeah. this around, most people who are like on the meme pages or just around. Uh, those parts of the internet and Instagram last month, they would have been like, oh, yes, I've seen this monkey. You know? It's also possible that uh, because of the amount of monkey content we've been looking up, the uh, the algorithms are just kind of showing us monkey-related content. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe the algorithm... Yeah, I do enjoy uh, a silly monkey and, and a video yeah. relating to it. Uh, but, so, you know, Renown... Again, I think... I think it's pretty high. It's fairly high. You know... He was well known. He doesn't stand out like a curious George, you know. Like you can't show this guy to him, to your mother. She'd just be like, "What a funny little creature," you know. She wouldn't be like, "Oh yes, that's George W. Monkey," you know. So, yeah. uh, but like if you show it to like uh, I don't know some some fella who's on uh, Instagram, they'd probably be like, "Wow, I saw that. It's a little monkey at one point while scrolling through my feed mindlessly at 3 a.m." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So what what do you think then? Here, I'll I'll, I'll let you you put the score up. You know what? I think. Uh... I think we can give maybe a uh, between a three and a half and a four, three and a half and a four. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I don't. Do we want to break into the point two five, the three point seven five? Okay. Um, yeah, no, I don't, don't want to have to. I don't want to have to create or have you create a uh, a point seven five of a banana <laughs> icon. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, <laughs> 0.75 of banana. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I think we'll give him a 3.5. And if you at home choose to round it up, that's up to you. You know, <laughs> what are we going to do? Stop you? Well, I don't know. Yeah, 3.5 for Renown because, you know, he tried his best. He really earned that 0.5. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, cursedness, okay? Very low. Let me just say, very yeah. low. There's, there's essentially absolutely nothing cursed about this monkey. It's just, it's just like a perfect monkey. He's a lovely, you know, he's one of God's creatures. He's just a beautiful, you know, Mother Nature, you know, spit him out. He's here. And, like, you know, there's a, the tiniest, there's just, just an inkling of, uh... Oh! <laughs> there's a, there's an, that would make an epic transition. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but there's the tiniest inkling of uh, Uncanny Valley watching him eat and grab and reach. You know, it's a little bit bizarre at yeah. first, but he's just a beautiful creature. You know, yeah. he's not cursed at all. Absolutely. I'd say, for cursedness, maybe a zero. Or uh, or 0.5 at max, based on the uncanny thing you said. Yeah, I was going to say 0.5. I think, you know, like, I think just point, because yeah. it's that initial, it's just the tiniest little thing. But once you move past there, he's just beautiful. Absolutely. You're right. And like you said, you know, who, who's, who's, who's cutting his hair? Who's combing his hair? You know, this little monkey's more quaffed than me, ATM. Not going to lie, you know? But what are you going to do? I don't know if he's... He's not even on a leash. He carries himself so well. You know, if he was crawling around and, like, slobbering from the mouth like a little troglodyte or something, that would be different. But he's, <laughs> he's not like that. This is not a gremlin or a gremlinoid. You know what I mean? Absolutely. 
So yeah, that's a point five for cursedness. Now we're gonna hit you with some facts, logic, and the final score as we send our beautiful little Instagram snub-nosed monkey eating the peanuts standing on his hind legs out for May 2021. <laughs> We're back to uh, to send this guy off and give him his final score. This guy's checking his report card. I hope you have a happy, lovely summer. You know, by the time next time we see most of you, you know, if you're not already out of school, you probably are. So congrats on that. Woo, if you're not doing school, congrats being an adult or something else that's much cooler, maybe. <sighs> this little monkey has earned himself a what, Brandon? An eight on whatever the, our total is. I haven't actually ever thought about it. not to lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's earned an 8, which is a pretty high score, you know, I, I have thought, not, not like, late into the night, like, losing sleep, but I, I have thought in the past, I think a lot of our monkeys have earned, like, five and a half. so an 8 is a really good score, yeah. not the highest score, but, you know, pretty fantastic, and that yeah, just goes to show that. you what not being cursed can do for a lad. Yeah, we've been crippling our monkeys. <laughs> God, don't say that. <laughs> yeah, I guess our monkeys have been crippled, you know? This guy banana slammed with an 8. So congrats to um, the uh, the Insta Instagram bipedal snub nose monkey eating peanuts or something asking for the iPad on winning our monkey of the month for May 2021. Uh, if you have any recommendations or nominations, nominees, then, you know, hit us up. Hit us up. You know where to find us. <laughs> Probably in the comments down below. Okay. <laughs> And uh, congrats to our little, uh, this beautiful little man. We'll see you in June 2021.